Yo, what's going on guys? It's Sam. Welcome back to another video. We're checking out iOS 12.2 beta 3 today. Apple just released this to developers and if you're in the public beta testing program, no worries. You'll probably be getting the update on your iPhone or iPad later this week or sometime later today. As always, if you're excited for the changes in iOS 12.2, drop a like down below. It always helps me out and hit subscribe so you stay up to date on the latest Apple news. Let's go ahead and jump into the change log. So I looked around and in iOS 12.2 beta 3, there aren't nearly as many changes as there were in the previous beta but still some notable stuff that I definitely want to share with you. So first up, if you use group FaceTime, you know that there was a massive bug about a week or two ago where somebody could hear you before you picked up. So what Apple did is patch that server side, fixed it for real in iOS 12.1.4, but they didn't actually patch it in iOS 12.2 beta 2. They did officially patch it though in 12.2 beta 3. So if you've been looking forward to group FaceTime, you've been missing those calls, they are back now. Next up, inside of Control Center, Apple has once again redesigned the Apple TV or Smart AirPlay 2 TV control widget, which is kind of funny because they just redesigned it in beta 1 of 12.2 and now it looks almost entirely different for a second time. Personally, I like this a lot better. The black entire vibe here makes it feel more like a remote and I also like the button layout, although menu is a little bit unproportionately large in comparison to the other buttons down here. But if you have an Apple TV or an AirPlay 2 enabled smart TV, you'll be able to control everything from here. And this interface looks pretty fresh. It sort of makes all of Control Center black and then when you go out of it, there's a weird little glitch or animation that I'm sure will be corrected and then you get your normal blurred background back. Moving on, inside of the settings app, inside of iOS 12.2 beta 3 in the about tab, I'm gonna blur some of this right here, but it has been redesigned or at least restructured. Like the actual design is pretty similar but the organization, you got name first, then software update, model, model number, and serial. So it's actually going to tell you what model of iPhone you had. I can't remember if it did that before. Here's a good comparison of the differences. So that is how it looked on pretty much any version of iOS since iOS 7, if I remember correctly. And then here's how it looks on iOS 12.2. Instead of just giving you the model like MT9, it's actually going to give you iPhone XR, which makes a lot more sense to the common user. Following that in the news app, this one's really tiny, but instead of just saying Apple News at the top right there, it's actually going to give you an Apple News logo. This is probably because Apple is preparing to launch a new subscription service, and they really want to make it clear that Apple News is no longer just going to be an app, but a sub-brand of Apple of sorts. Following that, inside of the Wallet app, there's already been some big changes here. Not only is the overall design language different, but the animations, a lot of them have been tweaked, and I'm a huge, huge fan of this, it feels a lot fresher to me. If you tap now in iOS 12.2 beta 3 on these three dots in the top right hand corner of your screen, you get this new interface right here. It's going to show you the app corresponding to that card. For me, it's Chase Mobile. You can call Chase, go to their website, even view transactions, and then you have some other details down here as well as things like your billing address. Again, just like in the settings app, I'm noticing that it just seems more clearly laid out. You don't have to go searching around the wallet app to learn to call your bank or go to their website. It's all right here if you would ever have a problem with a transaction or need to file a dispute. And last but not least, over in the music app, for any of you huge music video watchers out there, I actually am a big fan of music videos, I just never watch them in Apple Music, you can now play them without having to go into full screen. So I would hit play, but I'm a little bit afraid that YouTube's just gonna freaking copyright strike me. But trust me, if you hit play now, you don't have to go full screen immediately. You used to have to do that in the past, and now you can watch it in this little window if you want to do that for some reason. All right, so that is iOS 12.2 beta 3 here on the iPhone XR and on all devices capable of running iOS 12. The update's preparing for release probably later in March. Apple's said to be holding an event on March 25th, so I would assume that the update will come out either on the day of the event, a little bit before, a little bit after, but uh, definitely not launching for everybody this month in February. That's all the changes, though. If you guys enjoyed this, drop a like down below, hit subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.